ANZ is set to close 15 additional branches. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because we're going to have a look at an article today which is discussing ANZ set to close 15 additional branches, everyone. Is this the retail recession or is it the banks taking advantage of well, the lockdowns to reduce their footprint and to reduce their costs. More and more people are moving away from actually having to go into a branch. And, you know, this will all come together. It'll all come together and boil up in the, uh, in the argument, why do we need cash? We've got these central bank digital currencies. We can use those. They're fantastic. We don't need branches anymore. So let's start by having a look at this article from Yahoo Finance. ANZ set to close 15 more bank branches. ANZ will close 15 bank branches across the country in a move that has been slammed by the industry union as deserting communities around Australia. Nine branches in New South Wales, two in Victoria and four in Western Australia are slated to close across June, September and October this year, according to the Finance Sector Union. The move comes two months after ANZ announced in mid-February that it was shutting 19 branches. Finance Sector Union National Secretary Julian and Grassino said bank branches were an essential service for regional Australians and the closures would force thousands of customers to travel long distances and to other towns to do their banking. Well, here's the question I put to you all. How often do you actually go to a bank branch? You know, maybe to cash a check, maybe to take out some physical money, some good old fiat. I actually went there and I remember asking my bank manager, oh, can I, can I buy some gold at the bank? And he, he looked at me going, how old are you? <laughs> he didn't know what I was talking about. The ANZ takes the cake as the worst performer when it comes to deserting communities around Australia, she said. Shutting branches in regional areas does not reflect the true need of bank customers. They need to be able to transact the full range of banking and financial services in branches close to where they live. The bank closure will force 54 regional-based ANZ employees out of a job, she said. If you live and work in a regional town, your opportunity for redeployment are virtually nil. She added that the pandemic had forced big banks to fast-track plans to close branches. Forced. I think it provided an opportunity for these banks to fast-track these plans to close branches. And I mean, okay, if the big four close branches, this will create a vacuum that will provide an opportunity for other banks to go in there. What about Bendigo Bank? What about some of the regional banks? You know, maybe they, the little ones can come in there and sweep up and provide this service to these communities. There's, you know, there's business there. They'll, they'll, if there's business, they'll go there and provide it. But slam the financial institution for prioritizing profits over the needs of the community. Did, does she not understand what a bank is? We don't believe the community is ready for the changes to banking that are being pushed by the likes of ANZ, she said. And we know the community is not ready for managing their finances online because one third of bank customers either don't have a computer, do not have sufficient skills or are not interested in taking up online banking. This is the list of the 15 ANZ bank branches scheduled to close later. Most will come in October or more will come. Most will come in October. So New South Wales, so Foster, Cooma, Uldala, Salamander Bay, Casino, Kaura, Kudamundra, Leeton, Kempsey. In Victoria, it's uh, Bushes Marsh in September. Lakes Entrance. Lakes Entrance? That's not even that. I know Lakes Entrance because I grew up in Victoria. We went there for holidays. I guess that's regional. Um, Wongan Hills, uh, Bassendine, Baldives and Beverly. So the ANZ response. ANZ Managing Director of Retail, Catherine Bray, told Yahoo Finance it was looking to retain as many employees as we can, particularly with increased demand on other areas of the bank. Of our employees that were working in a branch that closed last year, we were able to find new roles or redeployment opportunities for nearly all of them that wanted to stay with ANZ, including at remote locations, she said. There were some these were some of our most experienced staff, and we employed them to where our customers needed them most. Employees forced to leave the business will have access to unlimited career coaching and outplacement support. I, what, is, what is career coaching and outplacement support? 
I mean, surely there'd be other banks you could, your skills would be transferable going from one to another, and you'd have skills in the finance sector that you could, you could use. And workers who face financial hardship after being cut will have access to ANZ's past employee care fund, she added. So, as much as no one's fans of the banks, at least they've got these things in place. She also said the majority, 70% of bank customers, preferred digital banking during 2020, with only 12% of customers using bank branches. I mean, I go into my bank branch, and I... I I don't even use ATM to withdraw money, to be honest. I will go up to the counter and they say, oh, why don't you use the ATM? And I go, well, because I want to talk to someone, <laughs> you know, meet, you know, have a chat. Maybe I'm just old. I really am. I'm, I'm going past Boomer, guys. Aren't I? I'm just going straight past Boomer, going straight to Silent Generation. We were only um, completing about, well, we were only completing about one track some transaction per customer per month over the counter, she said. We notified customers and let them know about the alternatives they have available, including specialists, teams on the ground in their region that can help them. I know we were looking at a option to design a mobile, transportable, modular bank branch. I think we, we did a little concept for CBA where you just drive in, there'd be ATM and they could have facilities there. I think it's just a bit of an idea. I don't know if it could turn into something real, but there you go. I mean, this is why that banks want to move away from physical cash because it has a whole lot of security issues and costs associated with moving it around so they're closing 15 branches and there'll probably be more as well let's have a look at the current a and z share price everyone i'll bring up here we go we've got we have this is from trading view this is the asx share price here so at the moment i'll just refresh the a and z on the asx is trading at $28.80 US cents. So it's up here. And this is, what are we looking at? We'll go to a one year time frame. That is a one year, we'll go to five years. Okay, five years. So here's the big plunge we had at the beginning of was it last year. Wow, that's that long ago, everyone in March. March last year, that seems, that doesn't seem that long ago, does it? It doesn't feel like it, but we've, we've pretty much recovered from that. We're not at the all time high or the high here that we have over $32. But, you know, it's climbing back up and it's stable. What, let's have a look at the technicals and let's have a look at the ideas. The technicals are saying buy. The oscillators are going sell, to sell, nine neutral. Moving averages, strong buy. Strong buy and the ideas. So correlation of ASX banks, index and GLD. Okay, let's have a look here. Buy at, at the gap. Um, ANZ breakout, we'll have a look here. So correlation, what are we looking at? Uh, let's play here. The wide um, wide gap has to close, is revealed to the, uh, reve revert to the mean. Okay, well, I'll just skip to that. Let's go straight to the long one here. What are they predicting? So, well, there you go. They predicted an ANZ breakout. Everyone, it seems pretty, well, we'll see. Will it hit up to that $26, $27 that they're predicting? Everyone, no comments just break out just break out i'm not a ta guys uh, i'm not a ta guy everyone i just find it interesting to see some of the predictions they put forward and we can you know see how it's going so the solutions everyone i mean what are the solutions to news like this yeah do you diversify your investments in the banks are you in the banks did you ride out the dip in march february last year or did you jump in when they were low i mean banks are a, a good dividend favorite here in Australia. Some people are concerned that they're at risk. Others, uh, there's, you know, worry about bail-in and all this that people mention. Honestly, uh, the government's going to prop up housing more than anything else. You know, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not worried about that at all. I'm worried about debanking due to political reasons. And I'm worried about, well, I'm worried about the potential of uh, CBDCs coming from central banks really having a, a bad impact on our liberties going in the future. So there we have it, everyone. ANZ is shutting more branches. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments down below. How often do you actually go to a branch? Would you miss it? As always, thanks for watching. If you're a fan of the channel and enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, 
or Aussie Broadband. You can buy merch from Heiser Says. On our blog, you can see we have the pocket squares here that are made by Rachel. Or we've got our mugs you can get from Teespring. You can already also support us using Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or via PayPal. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.